Something is happening to me tonight I'm traveling back in time and I'm ready for flight I'm riding on a feeling in the back of my mind Escape from reality, oblivious to time Come on, I know a place where we can go A world awaits inside Epson's radio Okay, so I'm out here in the shallow water in a lake swimming area. It's Mother's Day, so I'm getting to metal detect. I did get to spend some fun time with my kiddos, but now it's mommy time, and I'm hunting in this swimming hole area. It's very windy, so I don't even know if you can hear me. I have my headphones on, and uh, I've got the AT Pro with the large coil. I probably should have used the smaller coil for the swimming area, but I've got two really good finds. I didn't want to show them out with so many people out. Um, I haven't checked them out really well yet uh, to see the markings, but I can't wait to check it out. But I'm just hunting along here in the shallow water. Last time I was out here, the water was way down and it was just rocky rocks and clay, so I didn't bring my water scoop, but um, who knows, I might have to come out here tomorrow because I doubt there'll be hardly anybody out here tomorrow, the day after Mother's Day. Anyway, um, I'll get back with you if I find anything good. Thanks for watching. Hi YouTubers, um, I got to get out yesterday to a local uh, swimming area at a lake and it was Mother's Day so happy Mother's Day to me. I got two rings uh, that I found yesterday and then um, after work today I got off early and went back out today because I figured there would be less people and there was less people and I got one more ring. So I'm super excited about that. Let me show you my finds uh, for the wrap up. So here are my finds. Um, there are a few of these coins that I got uh, earlier uh, last week. I went and hunted um, at the river and uh, got a few of the coins at the river, but the rest I got at the lake swimming area and uh, several quarters, dimes, three nickels, pennies, and then the rings, which I'll show you in just a second. And then I got this cute little, it's a little metal army helicopter. The um, top part isn't, the propeller part is not metal, but the rest of it is metal. And then this nice little cog here and shotgun shell, little fossil. But for the good stuff, um, I got my very first tungsten ring. So I was really excited about that. Those things do have some weight to it. It does have the markings in it, tungsten carbine. Um, it looks like it has a jewelry, uh, jeweler's mark in there with like a diamond ring etched in there. And then it says something. I can't quite make it all out. But anyway, I was super excited about my very first tungsten ring. Then um, yesterday on Mother's Day, 
I got this very pretty um, channel set stone ring. It does say 925 copyright symbol um, EC inside. So I looked up the EC and the EC, EC stands for European Community which um, I live in Texas so uh, I didn't know what they I'd never ran across uh, a ring or a piece of jewelry that was stamped with the EC so uh, when I looked it up uh, EC stands for the European um, Community which is part of the European uh, in order for it to be a stamped 925 it it has to go through their um, how do I word it um, their regulations uh, when they stamp so it met their regulations for the 925 apparently and I'm not sure if these stones are real usually when you find silver uh, the stones aren't always usually uh, your fine diamond stones are set in a um, are set in like white gold or platinum not in it, not usually in silver but I don't have a diamond tester I'm gonna go ahead and order one soon I've always had friends that live near me that were um, always I could uh, test the diamonds the stones with but the very first ring that I ever found um, over it's been when I very first started metal detecting and I very first got my first water machine and I was metal detecting in the Gulf um, in a popular beach area um, I was up to my neck, neck in water that deep and uh, hunting in the swimming area and I got my first ring and it was set in silver and it had a bunch of channel set diamond like stones in it so I had a friend that tested it for me and they did turn out to be diamonds so it could be possible that those are diamonds so I will let you know in a future video if those come out to be tested as diamonds and I got this one I went back today got some more coins today and then I got this ring uh, pretty sure it's a junker uh, but it does have a marking in there and I couldn't quite make out the marking it looked like it said 10k which my guess if it is 10k it would have been 10 carat um, oh my kitty wants to help um, 10k uh, plated maybe at one time but the plating is starting to come off it looks to me like but if I get my diamond tester I'll just test those stones anyway but I doubt very seriously uh, that those are real but anyway go on Tiggy Tigris sorry <laughs> um, anyway I just wanted to um, show you my finds uh, super excited about the rings and uh, also as for the uh, silver ring you know what that means Silver. Anyway, thanks for uh, thanks for watching and happy hunting and please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.